Did you know there are three great lies that could rob you of success and that you might not even know that you're falling victim to them? Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back. Dr. John Michael Sabato here, your internet lifestyle and peak performance coach. And earlier this week, I held a private webinar for a handful of my, my corporate clients and small business owners, CEOs, and a couple aspiring entrepreneurs who want to improve the, the performance in the, their performance in the marketplace, their, their quality of their lives, and reclaim the lifestyle that they know that they deserve. And, you know, I wasn't feeling my best at that time because of the side effects of the chemo, but I made a commitment and, and I felt that I had to give this presentation my, my full attention and my best effort. And it turned out to, to have such a powerful impact on the ones who were there in the webinar room uh, because, because so a few of them commented that they wish we would have agreed to record it. Now, these private sessions that I do aren't recorded usually because the, the group consists of a, a number of very high level CEOs, uh, top producers in the network marketing and financial planning fields and, and folks who are very private, who, who don't want their employees or their clients or their downline to know that they're receiving personal coaching. So, um, so we generally agree that we're not going to, uh, to, to do any recording. But there was no question that, that, that lives were being changed during this event. And, and as I shared these three simple ideas with them, these, these three great lies that, that, that are robbing folks of their success, uh, they, they just started to really get excited about what it was that I was sharing. And so I thought I'd share the same strategies with you and see if they could bring some value to your business and to your life as well. So let's talk about those three great lies that could be robbing you of success. Now, before I begin, it's, it's also important that, that we understand that these lies are unique and that they have the same impact on us, whether we're the one lying or whether someone's lying to us unless you know how to disrupt their power and render them useless. So that's what we're going to do in, in the course of the next couple minutes. Now, the first lie is, is, the, is a, a lie of procrastination. It's the lie uh, in which you, know, you tell yourself that uh, I'll do it tomorrow or next week or next month or, or I'll do it later. Planning to do something tomorrow is no different from deciding not to do it at all. As one friend of uh, my, uh, mine and author, Ralph Marston, puts it, putting off our joy and our fulfillment until later is the same as abandoning that joy and fulfillment forever. You know, empowered decisions compel us to, to take immediate action. When, someone needs, when something needs to be done, uh, then, then effective people, successful people, do it. They do it right now. Or they decide not to do it at all. You know, either way, they make a definite decision. They own it. They're not going to pretend that they're going to get around to it later. So a successful person looks at something and says, you know, would this be a good use of my time right now? And if the answer is no, they ask themselves, would this be a good use of my time ever? And if the answer is no again, they don't do it. If the answer is yes, then they schedule a time and they make a firm commitment on when they're going to do it. But the first thing they look at is, is this important enough uh, for me to take action right away? Now, if you've uh, carefully reviewed, a, let's say, a unique and powerful business opportunity, and you agree that it has all the features necessary to provide you with the vehicle, the support, the community, and the income potential that you need to create a six or seven figure income, why would you wait until tomorrow to get started? That doesn't even make sense. You know, what's gonna be different tomorrow, or next week, or next month, or next year, Except for the fact that you'll be that much further in debt, you'll be that much for, more frustrated by what you're doing now, and, and you'll be that much further away from your dreams, your goals, your, your aspirations and happiness. You can only live your life in the present moment. The past is gone. It's just a, a mental construct that we create. The future doesn't ever really exist for the same reason. So, so you can't do anything in the future. It's an idea, a projection that, we, cre that we, we create where we're utterly powerless to do anything meaningful, anything productive. The now, the present moment, that's all you have to work with. So whatever you're gonna do, whatever you're passionate about doing, do it now. When someone tells you, I'll do it later, that's, that's a lie. Just smile at them and say, probably not. But I've learned that people who are serious about something, people who, are, are, who really believe it's the right thing to do, take immediate action, so it's all right. I'm, I'm sure I can find somebody who's ready to take action on this idea and partner with me right now. Thanks for thinking about it, though. I really appreciate that. Now, you might cause that person to, to you might give that person pause. 
uh, and, and cause that person to, to you know, shriek back a little bit. And, and you might even inspire them to take action. You might not. It's not your issue, so don't get caught up in it. Let that person go and, and know that you've made a decision to do something and no one else's stupidity, no one else's excuses are capable of ever stopping you. So do it and do it now. The second lie is, is the lie, it's very similar, uh, the I don't have money, the money to do it right now lie. You know, and, and, and that's just a variation of the procrastination lie when we really look at it because the person who's telling this lie is, is, is uh, really saying that they want to do something, but they, they'll get around to it when some imaginary circumstance changes. In this case, the imaginary circumstance is money. You know, Mark Hoverson teaches the best response I've ever heard to the I don't have the money lie, and that is to either ask yourself if you're the one telling the lie or ask the other person, if you knew how to get the money, where would you get it? See, here's the truth about the matter. Let's again use your business opportunity as an, ex as, as, as an example. Let's say that you had a job working for a multi-million dollar company and they paid you to do something you absolutely love to do. You loved your job and, and, you were, and it had great value for you and you didn't want to lose that job ever. If you woke up one morning and you discovered that all four of your tires had been slashed and you didn't have a dime of cash on you, the credit cards were maxed out, payday wasn't until next week, isn't it fair to say that you would get very serious, very creative about figuring out a way to get your hands on the money for those four tires one way or the other so that you didn't lose your job? Of course, we all would. You know, you'd borrow it from somebody, you'd sell something that you owned, whatever you had to do to get the money for those four tires. And, and you know, those four tires could set you back $600 for, for four tires, depending on what you drive, but you'd find a way to get the money because your livelihood and the ability to pay your bills and your happiness would depend on it. So friends, here's a news flash. I know that when I introduce someone to my business opportunity, the average person with no previous experience will literally be in profit within their first 24 to 48 hours. I know that my system is so effective, we offer them a $100 guarantee if they follow the system for 30 days and they're not in profit. So I know that it works. I also know that since we've never once had to pay anyone that $100 guarantee, that I, I'm offering them something that's more valuable than a job with any company ever. And it's certainly more valuable than four high performance tires. So if someone wants to be part of my team, if they're serious about improving their lives, they'll find a way to get the money that they need to join us. So, so that's how you diffuse that lie. Now, the third great lie is, is, the, is the lie that, you know, this looks awesome, but I'm really too busy to do this. And once again, this is a lie. It's an excuse that arises out of a, an unwillingness to take ownership of our lives. And that deprives you and the other person of happiness when you allow it to do so. See, every day people present me with at least a half dozen new business opportunities, existing companies, some very successful uh, companies, uh, other offers and, and, and the deal of the week and vaporware schemes and everything else. Sometimes I'll listen to what they have to say. Most of the time I do that because I can get a, a greater sense of how they're pitching their deal or maybe learn a thing or two from their presentation techniques. Other times I just smile and tell them that I'm, I'm really not interested in looking at anything at this time. One of the things you never want to do is you never want to attack them or attack the business that they're doing, even if they're doing vaporware and garbage. You know, in either case, when I'm not interested in doing something, I don't make an excuse. I say, thank you for caring enough to share this with me. I genuinely appreciate that. However, I'm just not interested at this time. Now notice I said at this time so that the person who, who I'm speaking to understands that the door to communications remains open with them. And, and they understand that I value their, their taking the time to share that with me. Now, if they're selling something I vehemently oppose, like vaporware or meal replacement shakes, I might say, you know, that's not a product I, I would personally have any interest in promoting, but feel free to keep me in mind should you run across anything else, even if you just want some feedback on it. Again, I'm taking a position where, where I let them know I genuinely care about what it is they're doing, and, and I appreciate them asking me for my opinion, and that I'm more than happy to do that. Don't wait until the last minute for, for anything in your life, my friends. Don't wait until the last minute to make changes based on what you've learned from this video. Because if you do, guess what? You'll never get anything done. You know why? Because the last minute doesn't exist. You'll never get to the last minute. You'll never have anything to work with than the now. See, so, so you know, do what you can to eliminate those lies from your vocabulary now. Learn how to diffuse them when somebody else tries feeding those lies to you now. 
and you'll free up your time, you'll free up your energy, your enthusiasm, and, and you'll allow greater flexibility and creativity in your life and the opportunity for peak performance. So until next time, this is Dr. John Michael Sabato. I hope that, that what I shared with you brought value in some way into your life and into your business. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe to my video channel. I would certainly appreciate that. And get in touch with me anytime I can help. Take care. This is Dr. John Michael Sabato reminding you that you can have the best week of your life and that the very best is yet to come. I'll talk to you.